Prophet Sulaiman was himself a prophet and the son of a prophet, Prophet Dawood He was given the gift of wisdom and deep understanding of the language of birds and animals. He was also given dominion over the wind and the jinn. The Quran mentions a story about Prophet Sulaiman's army of men, jinn, and birds, and says, they came upon a valley of the ants, and an ant said, O ants, enter your dwellings so that you are not crushed by Sulaiman and his soldiers, while they perceive not. So Sulaiman smiled in amusement at her words and prayed, My Lord, inspire me to always be thankful for the favors which you have blessed me and my parents with, and to do good deeds that please you. Admit me by your mercy into the companion of your righteous servants. Allah commanded the Prophet Sulaiman to build the famous Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. He was a wise and just ruler, and his kingdom was so powerful that it is said that the throne of his kingdom was supported by the angels. He was a great king who used his wisdom and knowledge to judge disputes between people. He was also a great worshiper of Allah and is mentioned in the Quran as an example of a pious and devout servant of Allah. The trials of wealth were a test to Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. The worldly wealth given to Prophet Sulaiman included vast amounts of gold, silver, gems, and other riches, as well as dominion over the wind and the jinn. He also had authority over the land and sea, and it was said that he even was able to control the weather. It was a test to see if he would be content with what Allah had given him, or if he would be tempted by worldly dominion and control. He was given immense wealth and power, but he remained content and devoted to Allah Azza wa Jal. وَمَنْ شَكَرَ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَثَرَ فَإِنَّ رَبِّي غَنِيٌّ كَرِيمٌ And whoever is grateful, his gratitude is only for the benefit of himself. And whoever is ungrateful, then indeed my Lord is free of need and generous. Do you ever think of wealth being a test for you? How many people have been immensely blessed only to become increasingly stingy and greedy with their charity or sadaqah? In fact, we see that those who have less are usually the ones who are the most generous with the very little that they have. And we know that that is an elevated level of iman. We learn here that wealth in and of itself is not something to look down upon. Rather, it is when this love for wealth and its accumulation becomes a reason in distancing us from our Lord and his worship. While for some lies the test of financial difficulties, for others, the test is quite the opposite, and perhaps harder to detect when it's the test of wealth. So be grateful to your Lord by giving from what you have been given. Surely the only saving accounts that matters in our akhirah is our akhirah savings account. Everything that you spend will be lost except that which you spend for the sake of Allah. Please continue to join us and support us for Madistan's Embracing Resilience series, where we will delve into stories of trials and tribulations in the Quran and through them build a better understanding of what we can do when we find ourselves faced with trials and tribulations.